Hello producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I will show you how to glue your kick and bass together. We will use some compression and EQ techniques while we're doing this. If you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. First, I will create a quick loop. So let's program some hi-hats like this. And actually, I love to make the out knob to shorten my sample. Even I can mess with the length to make it more tight. Then I will just side chain it. That's all with the kick. Now let's write the bass line. So let's load this preset. Maybe we can do it like this. One octave down. So it's really a subby sound. I will just write the notes. Root the clap for the four and mute them for now to only hear kick and bass. So now we have a really subby bass. Now I will add a span and I wanna see the spectrum of it. If you watch my previous tutorial, I told you about finding a reference track and copying the balances, the volumes of the reference tracks low end. It's the best way to do it. So after you balance the kick and bass, let's do it first. So I'm basically making them same volume. After I do that, I can just grab a channel and dock it to the left. Let's call it kick bass. So now I'm gonna root my kick and the bass only to this new bus. Let's do them like this, not confuse. So, okay, first of all, let's add the sidechain to our base. So, my sidechain should be my kick is like one and a half bar, my sidechain should be like this. Okay, now our kick and bass is a bit sloppy. They are not sounding like one big giant sound. How to solve this problem? I will simply add a Fab Filter Pro MB and I will create a band and I will solo this guy only hear the sub and low end. Let's mute these guys. So it's usually like 120 to 150 hertz. Find your sweet spot that you only hear the low end, your kick and bass. So let's do it like this. Let's make the range like minus 3 decibels and make the output plus 3. So now so you need to adjust your threshold at some point that this uh, line should be on the zero, not should stay on the zero. With this, your kick and bass will glue them together. We are actually killing the dynamics of them and just matching the matching their balances with this technique. Let's do it like this. As you can see, this little guy almost solved the problem. So the thing is, you make the range minus 3, so we are telling the compressor that it can compress 3 decibel. 
and we are giving it three decibels of makeup gain. So our final volume is not changing, but with the threshold knob, we are just taming the dynamics and gluing them together very well. It really makes the huge difference. Also, there's some preset in here in the mastering title loss ZWD. This preset is almost the same, but it only compressing the mid signal and the values are different on it. But still, this can work really well too. Yeah, as you can see, it's the best way to glue your kick and bass to use some multiband compression. You can do it with any type of multiband compressor, but Fab Filter Pro MB is my favorite one. It's really easy to use. So another way to glue your kick and bass, we can just add some EQ on it. So I will put the same EQ to the kick. Have some matching frequencies. So first, let's take a look of the both signals. Left is kick, right is bass. So I can see my bass is have some resonance in 85 Hertz. It's the fundamental note of our key F. So I can dip that area from my kick a bit so they can be fit together like a puzzle. But I'm gonna do it real gently, like minus one or two dBs only. Also, if you dip like 300 to 600 hertz area of your kick, you will have some space for your headroom and other elements such as bass, such as leads, mid pads, etc. So sometimes it's good to dip some of the frequencies that you don't like in your kick. Yeah, as you can see, it's more tight now. And even with the Fab Filter Pro MB, and this little EQ trick, you can glue your kick and bass very well together. And also, when you finish the track and sending to the mastering, you can do something like this to even glue all of your track better. Just put some SSL type of compressor. Uh, you can use Waves SSL too, but this one is my favorite. So I can go to my glue preset. This is like parallel compression going on in here. So we have like 50% dry signal, 50% wet signal. So let's make it like this fast attack, fast release. I will just tweak the threshold knob. I want some gain reduction like 4 dBs or something. And I will make up the gain like 4 or 5 dBs. This will glue the dynamics of your track so it's gonna sound more decent yeah guys those are the techniques that i'm using to glue my kick and bass if you have something to add please tell me in the comments today that was it i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you can apply this to your own productions too thanks for watching guys see you on the next video bye bye